Hello YouTubers, this is Wolf359 coming at you with a, another video. I had a comment on from a person asking how I set up file browser to get into my app data for my next cloud, how I did that. But uh, for this, it, file browser is able to look at anything that you have it set to. So what I'm gonna show you to do how to do today is how to set up file browser how to point it at a file that you want or a data set whatever data set so I don't have my next cloud on here no more I've just this is just my test server and all but what I can do is we'll what we'll do we'll add a data set and what we'll do we'll call it media and we'll just have it as generic so we call it media. So this will be the same thing like what what you'll see for a next cloud or so. But uh, everything else. But if you want me to, I can redo a next cloud and show you how to get into the app data through file browser. But it's still the same setup and all. So what we're going to be doing, we're going to go file browser. We're going to look it up. I already have file browser already done, but we'll reinstall a new one. Okay, we're going to call this file browser number two because I already have file browser installed. But you can call it whatever you want to. But what I'm going to do right here in my user and groups config, I'm going to set it to zero as group user. But you can leave it as is. Uh, but on my test server, everything's. I haven't added permissions or anything, haven't done anything. Uh, but if you do add another file browser, you do want to change the port or you will have issues. So we're going to call it 352. I'm going to leave the file browser can make storage set as the IX volume. You can come over to your data set. <laughs> Mm, sorry, I was yawning, y'all. But you can set up your own config storage. But what you're going to do right here is you're going to come to additional storage. We're going to add additional storage. So we're going to come to host path. We're going to add in our host path. We're going to call it media. Okay. You always need to do your fort slash. So we're going to come through finder media. There's a media folder, or if we want to do our test folder, or the whole whole thing. Other than that, that's pretty much what you would do. I'm going to come over. I'm going to call, do install. Don't need to do any other limits. Only if you're going to do a lot of update, uh, transferring everything. But now file browsers up installed and running so the main user and password for file browser is the usual is admin admin so that's what you'll log in as is admin admin log in here's our media so that's our media folder nothing's in there because we created a new one so if I started up my other file browser but on this file browser we'll just jump right into it and talk about it so you you're able to view your files so home media file browser your media we can add a new folder we call it uh, call it test, and we'll create that file. We're in our test, so we're media, media, test, so forth. We can add a new file name. I'm going to call it test two. We can create that. So we're going to add text to it. We just add a whole bunch.
So, hello world. I'm going to save that. Exit out of there. So, we have that. Able to. Uh, so, hey, we want to download this file. I want to keep test 2. I'm downloading that. So, test 2. Let's open that up as notepad. Let's see. Hello world, see? So we're able to see that. But in settings, we're able to profile settings, change the password, update. You have languages you can set for English. Sh share management. It feels lonely here. So we, I don't have nothing. Global settings. Use uh, so we can allow users to sign up automatically create user home directly while adding new users, so forth. This would be for that manage users. We can come here, set a new user, and go wolf. We can set a password as whatever scope I'll give myself I no, will just leave everything as is and we're gonna save that so now we have a new user called wolf so we can log out we come in here type in our new user password and we're in the same thing media test so forth but we can always set up a user to have their own folder through this through the media so if we don't want them seeing this we're able to do that so we can get back to settings go to user and come over here edit the user come over to Global settings allow the user to sign up. And we can update everything, command rules, so forth. But we're not going to do that right now. We're just going to leave it as is. So I'm going to leave the user at a given administrator pass permissions. So we can't really do nothing. I have to do it in the main admin and everything. But let's get back in to my main file browser. We'll go look at that web UI. I still have mine set with just admin, but the password I've changed. So test is my main profile. So we got media. There's the media file right there still. So we can see that because we set it this one. So hello world. I'm going to go home. Main files. So test my Minecraft. It's not there and I'm just having a little issues on why it's still showing Minecraft. But so forth. Nginx. So everything for nginx being able to get into the back end of nginx so forth oh now i do remember how i what we're talking about on the now i remember on the uh next cloud deal on the gentleman asking how i got into the configs at that so that's how i did oh i just totally remembered now also this is how you set up file browser you're able to log in so forth to be able to do file browser uh, if there's any other questions about how file browser is done uh, please hit me up uh, leave me a comment or anything uh, other than that please like share and subscribe this is wolf359 signing off thank you all